All right, so for part D of 5.10, they're asking, uh, I, I shortened the, the problem a little bit, get rid of just kind of wordings that you don't necessarily need. But anyways, uh, we're looking for the probability that the pH will be less than 5.5 given that it is less than six. So this is a conditional probability. So we're looking for the probability that our random variable x is less than 5.5 given that it is less than 6. So what is the definition of a, of a, um, of a conditional probability? It's the probability of the intersection. So we want the probability that x is less than 5.5 and x is less than 6 over the probability of this the second one right so the probability that x is less than 6 so for the top if x is less than 5.5 and x is less than 6 this this fact that x is less than 6 doesn't really tell me anything right if i know it's less than 5.5 that's the key information. Less than 5.5 and less than 6, that boils down to just being less than 5.5, right? So this is going to be equal to the probability that x is less than 5.5 over the probability that x is less than 6. And remember, because this is a continuous random variable, I'll just write it over here. This, this less than, it's not going to, I mean, less than, less than, or equal to, it's going to be the same, right? Because the probability of x is equal to either one of these is always going to be zero. So this is going to be the probability that x is now less than or equal to 5.5 over the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. Um, and now this is going to be our cumulative distribution, which we already found valued at 5.5 divided by our cumulative distribution evaluated at 6 and that we already calculated uh, from part B or for, sorry from part C um, so now what's left to do is just plugging this in so we have um, so 5.5 so we're in the case here of the CDF right um, so we just plug the 5.5 in. This is 1 minus 7 minus 5.5. Sorry, there should be a minus sign there. Uh, cubed over 8. And then divided by f of 6, we already found was 7 eighths. Mm -hmm. So, where's the right calculator go? So 7 minus 5.5 is going to be 1.5. So 1 minus 1.5 cubed over 8. Um, and then we're dividing, I'll just divide, dividing by 7 eighths. So I got that this is approximately equal to point six six zero seven one four two eight six so there you have it that is uh, D so yep yeah.